Am I pale? Yes. <laughs> and I was just saying, like, the background in this room, it's, like, a, it, it's just a very white room, a very, like, classroom room, if that makes any sense. Yeah. It doesn't do anything to help you. I should get a different tapestry. I should put up my hoth one. Well, I guess it's white still. Or you could just... The hoth one decorate. would be white. Yeah. The hoth one made you look worse. I, I was re... <laughs> It made us both look worse. Oh, bitch. Because I went back and rewatched some old old footage for nostalgia. Oh, and um, the first time we recorded here, I was violently hungover. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yep. I don't remember that. Mm. We used to drink. It was also kind of crooked. We used to. That was weird, too. I opened like a 25 ounce Bud Light on one of them. It wasn't weird. It was yeah. fun. It, it, was, it was fun. Uh, first, it looked so different when we did it back then at your house. It looked like low key clearer. We were closer to the camera. Oh. That's why. It looked like hella high def. Mm-hmm. That's why. It's but because we're close to the camera. and We could sit close to the camera, but you like to have a back support. I mean, don't we all? Like, it's not just me. I don't use back support when we film the podcast. Look at me right now. <laughs> Posture check. Someone just redeemed it on your Twitch stream. You got to fix it. There you go. I look way taller than you. <laughs> we <laughs> we look psychotic. <laughs> we, look so, we, look like the tether, we look like the tethered in us. unusual couple you know i want to reach out to neon sign companies and maybe get a neon sign that says the unusual couple Ooh, i like that that'd be kind of hot that would be talking like a bro now that'd be fucking fucking sexy (laughs) speaking of hot speaking of hot and sexy we just ate wings for dinner oh and wings are my new obsession should i tease um should i tease an upcoming episode that we're gonna do eventually or a YouTube video is we should do, we're going to do a hot ones. Like we're going to order the hot one sauces eventually. One day, you know, one day. One day in the future when and, we have uh, money. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe to put it bluntly, but like, yeah, we're going to do something like that. Here's actually, yeah, what we'll do is here's your. A thousand mo- subscribers on the YouTube channel. Or your motivation. If we can fill my donation goal for my camera. Yes. I will get the camera and that will be my first mm-hmm. fancy official YouTube video. Yeah. That's actually pretty cool. Or we could do it on the podcast, too. I swear, once I get that camera, like, I it will be unstoppable. I'll make fucking YouTube videos all the time. Because I also plan to get a microphone that can just straight up attach to the camera. Yeah. Woo! Do what you got to do, Cam. Am I looking good over here? Let's see. Yep, I'm looking good. Yeah. Cool. Hello, hello. Cool. Yeah, I'm not wearing the headphones today, so. Yeah, and you, I don't think they do shit, to be honest with you, because I film my videos without them. I well, think I just sh- like to be able to track it. I think it would be cool if we got, like, matching headphones to wear to make it look like we're... In like a studio, you know how like Get professional some podcasters. Logitech G three seven three threes. I had to belch. Um, I know you hate if, that word, but I had the to. The purple headset was available. I don't know if it's available or not. We can check on Best Buy or whatever. But I wanted the when I originally was ordering headphones for like my streaming setup. I wanted the purple ones, but they sold out. I put them in my cart, Bastards. and then. When I hit checkout, it was like, sorry, this product is no longer available. So I went with the black ones. But if you get the purple ones, I'll give you my black ones. I like the black ones. Uh, I would love to get that pair of headphones because, you know, I'm trying to also cool. upgrade on Twitch. Um, yeah, you need I almost, anything I, that's not your Apple headphones. Yeah, not, no disrespect to those. No They're all, all reliable. But, like, I have to have the volume turned up all the way when I'm editing videos just to hear anything in it. So it's not really accurate. But I digress. I was going to get a PS5. I was unable to. Shout out Brandon if you're listening to the podcast for uh, hooking me up with a link to try and buy one. I was in a queue and it was it just didn't work out for me. I don't know. I, I've convinced myself that it's not possible today to get a PS5. It's really difficult. Like, I don't know. if I, I just don't know. It's so funny because I feel like you and I were pretty good on Instagram and TikTok. But I, what, I, I, what I lack in youtube you you lack in twitch and vice versa you lack in twitch and i lack in youtube but i'm i excel in twitch i think and you excel on youtube does that make sense makes there was a better way actually i understand that. what you're saying like i twitch stream like once every few weeks probably about the same rate you post a youtube video no you twitch way more often than i post on yeah. youtube <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know what i mean but i just don't really i don't really twitch stream that much because and you I, know why it is way it is way easier to twitch stream than to youtube I'm lazy and you like you like organization and you like structure, which is why you like YouTube videos. Yep. <laughs> and I I like just hitting go live. And you know, I don't dislike Twitch. I actually really like Twitch, but for me I wanna get I wanna get a PS five so that I can do what I wanna do on it. And the reason I say that is because 
you know what are those called in uh school where like it would do like blank is to blank as blank is to blank what are those called not they're similes. called um hyperbole Mm-mm, no hyperbole is exaggeration um a positive is like and it's not in a positive a positive would be like my science teacher comma chris Bowie comma whatever it's, it's, it is. it's something but it's whatever it is the, we failed school <laughs> the canon eos m50 mark ii is to me as the ps5 is to you if we could if we is could it an get, analogy no maybe analogy maybe but like in a more of there's types of analogies i don't know maybe either way if i got it's it's similar as to like if i got that camera i would be able to up my youtube game if you got your ps5 you would stream way more yeah also i can't really once we move in <laughs> which is gonna happen by the way that's a, well that's another it's thing. gonna be way easier we also have the same obstacles when it comes to those two interfaces you we we like to be together specifically in my apartment when we're together you can't necessarily twitch stream and i no. cannot film a youtube video in front of you i refuse i can it's weird because i can do all i can film youtube videos in front of you you'd think it would be the other way more, you're way more comfortable doing that than, though than oh, i yeah. am i guess i have a lot of practice with you it. do me like it's a whole I just don't like the idea of you watching me. I also can't film. I can't really film TikToks in front of you, but at least I could film them down the hallway. That's fair. Because I can't see you right now. But like if you, you were over there. even you, when you're filming YouTube videos in front of me, you, you've you said that like when you mess up, when you're talking, you like feel bad. You're like, like <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> just because you think I'm listening, even yeah, though I'm not. I know. Um, it's a mental barrier. And like, again, I like my setup I have at my house for YouTube videos. Like I still film YouTube videos here, but I do like, I like my studio I've crafted at my house and I don't get to use it when I'm here. I so it's like, it. you did. We crafted it, but man. You burping a little bit? I am. We just ate wings. Mm. A lot of carbs with the fries too. But um, we don't really have a, we have one main thing we want to talk about, but we don't have like another hot topic thing like um, a, a unpopular opinions our, or hot takes. With our YouTube talk. Do you want to continue that? Yeah. Uh, I was going to segue into something else, but let's continue. Well, no. I was just kind of like, that was like our long intro, and now it's like, okay. Oh, okay. Real heads up before we get into more conversation. Make sure to subscribe, you know, if you're watching the video yeah, version. Subscribe. We have a little bit of support going from the TikTok and the Reels. <laughs> yeah, we clipped some of, by we, I mean Chris, I. <laughs> clipped some of last week's podcast. More so than I had been doing it. It was Star Wars related, which, by the way, I think you should still continue clipping. I'll continue clipping them all. Um,. We should clip more of the Marvel one because we didn't. I don't feel like we didn't clip any of that one. Not really. No, we'll do that. I'll do it. <laughs> I'll it. find time to do it. I, I'll have time to do it. You got it. Um, my full time content creator. In the, technically, but like. You are a full time content creator. Don't down, don't downplay yourself. You are. That's currently you are. Yeah, I am. I guess. What do you do in your full time? Content creation. There you go. Um, say with pride. I I guess, but. Say it. Yes, but at the same time, like... Do you think you can't say it because you li don't live by yourself? Yeah. No, and you're I, a full-time content creator. Yeah. You just live at your parents' house. There's nothing wrong with that. You're right. You're literally only 22. <laughs> I know. I, I I know. It's okay. Um, I'm, I'm, that's like I'm building like, to that being like Saying like I'm a full-time student. So like there, I have some things I'm not talking about yet, but I teased that will be cool that I can't wait to share with you. I just can't talk about it yet. I don't want to talk about it yet. So you know what I'm inferring? Please do not talk about it. I don't know what you're inferring, so don't even worry about Look it. Look at me in the eyes and think really critically about something that's been in the works with me. Sure. Do you know now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, You are a full-time contract creator, though. And you're damn good at it. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Look at your little blushy. I mean, I like making the reels for the thing. Like, I feel like... I'll scroll and I'll see like this account called like Lumberland, which I like a lot. They're like a company that makes bat mugs on my TikTok, on my free page. And like they have like a, a TikTok dude. And like, I was like, I, I could do that, but I just want to do it for me. <laughs> like, I don't want to do it for another company. Mm -hmm. I could, I mm -hmm. know I could, and I could excel at it, but it's just like, I want to do it for me Yeah. and build something on my own. And I also, I know we could build something. Look at me. You had an eyelash and it's gone. Is that what you blinked away? I don't know. I'm my my right contact is fucking up a little uh, bit. I'll be fine. Do you need to go change it? No, I don't want to talk about it because it'll just make me focus on it okay, more. Okay. Well, that's what we were saying. But long story short, is we the TikTok blew up. 
one of our TikToks did blow, blow up, yes. Yeah, and it was about talking about Ray. <laughs> Which I knew. So you and can I, imagine. <laughs> I put a lot of time into like. it as well. Like It was a good TikTok. I put an hour into it. Really? Up, one hour. I had to find all the pictures as PNGs. I had to edit them, get the music right and everything. And it's, yeah. And cropping and zooming, it takes time to make those reels, which is why I don't do them constantly because I like to put my individual content over the podcast content, which is just like fair. You agree, right? Like you put your, but I still want to do it. Are you watching it right now? Yeah. There's a lot of comments. Someone told you I didn't want to taste, but we might (gasps) as well break the news. Oh, I defended you. Don't worry. It was on one of the videos. They were like, someone to tell her. It wasn't that one. It was a different video. They were like, it was the Obi-Wan one where Obi-Wan, the theory of someone arbitrarily, not you, thinking that they're, that Obi-Wan and Padme yeah. are together, and someone said, she should stick to Marvel, and I responded, <laughs> and I said, go to it. Bitch. Go down. <laughs> it's this one. Now read the comments. I don't know if it's there. I think the person might have deleted it, but I responded on my own personal account. I don't respond much. I was like, we got people to send us their opinions. I literally was like, why would she? It doesn't look it's, like it's there. Yeah, they deleted it, I'm pretty sure, because they realized how stupid they were. What did they say? They just, literally just said, word for word, someone should tell her to stick to Marvel, lol. And I responded and was like, I, first, it, I only responded because they were so ignorant when they said it. Like, it's like, I normally, if someone was like, said anything else, you know, like, if that was your opinion, very romantic wouldn't, I, I wouldn't have responded. I don't respond to people like that. Very romantic. It is romantic. I appreciate it. I do. By the way. Yeah. The camera just cut out for those watching the video version. Yeah. Which happens like five times. Another reason why I need every that twelve camera. every twelve minutes on the Another dot. Another reason I need that camera. Every twelve minutes on the dot. Um. So what did you respond to the comment? Like? Oh, so I said, um, it's not her opinion with like a period. I said people sent their hot takes to us, and then they de- they comment they deleted the comment because they realized how stupid they were. I t- I actually take very full offense to that because I literally have been into <laughs> Star Wars for longer than I've been into Marvel. But not even that. It's I'm offended by the stupidity of the person because it blatantly is not your opinion blatantly yeah don't i literally say that it's stupid yes literally like it's not yours and you said people have this theory is the first thing you say not you (laughs) someone commented like the use of yoda was perfect which i thought was funny i'm talking because i don't think they can hear it it's gross i don't know where that came from and there are people that are like die hard like Yes, like that happened. What have I done? Okay, I yeah, will say I the guess. one stupid thing. Like, did people actually say that? The one thing that like, baffles me, the stupidity, is in the video you say people were saying that they banged like Obi Wan and Padme because Luke has blonde hair. That's not that's not the only reason why people think it, but they're like a, as if they're like <laughs> as oh, if well, genetics well, don't if, exist. If they didn't, if they didn't bang, then why does Luke have blonde hair? And I'm like, I don't know, maybe the Punnett square. Or like Obi Wan, or sorry, Anakin had blonde hair though. That's what yeah, people as think. a little baby. I mean, like I had, like that's kind of how I was. I had really blonde hair, and now it's like same. More brown. Oh my god, you guys, Chris was literally. The- but will you put a picture of you as a baby into this? Yeah, sure. Will you crop it in? Okay, I'm gonna pull up a picture. You keep talking. Chris was the cutest but, baby. But like people are just dumb about that kind of stuff. But anyway, while I, she looks for this, Chris was the cutest child. I can't even pick which picture. No, I I know which picture is my. This is my favorite picture of Chris as a child ever. I look at this picture when I'm feeling down. Look at your little <laughs> face. You look like someone just told you that they're no, making a new Star Wars movie or something. Or like you can't pick up, you can't find any more eggs or no more chocolate. Oh. You just, you're like, what? I know. My innocence was still intact. <laughs> <laughs> the way you're holding the basket. <laughs> I was a chubby son of a bitch. I still kind of am. I was a chubby baby as well. I still kind of am, but I was chubbier in the face than I guess. You were a little, a little diva. I was it. Look at that lip. What was I doing? Look at you. Look at that six. Is that a V line on my? (laughs) Did I have abs? Please don't sexualize yourself as a child. (laughs) I think I had abs back then. Uh, That's funny. No, you didn't. (laughs) You could see your. Did I have an Audi? You did. No, I did not. How is that even possible? Look at me. Look. That's not me. (gasps) Yes, it is. That is you. I think I might have pushed my belly button into my body permanently. That's not possible. I'm not going to like lift my shirt, but like I don't have that now. It goes in. Yeah, I've had an Indian belly my whole life. What happened to your belly button? Probably the fat overtook <laughs> it. <laughs> and when I got fat and started drinking beer Stop. in college, it went up and that's what happened. So mean to yourself. Um, 
I fucking love you as a I kid. I didn't have one in high school, though. You were the or cutest like child. School. No, you didn't. You were so. just the cutest little baby. Everything I must about have had you. I in my belly button that day. You were, just, you were just a precious child. And when me and Chris get married, when we have kids, if my kid doesn't look exactly like Chris as a child, I'm going to be so upset. Like, I, n- not to be weird or anything, but honestly, seriously, if I could time travel and go back in time, it would be really hard not to steal you as a kid. Oh, <laughs> God. Or I would at least just, like, really try to babysit you. Yeah. Because you're, you're just so precious. I need to trim my beard. <laughs> um, But, yeah. I love you as a kid. I just do. <laughs> but, yeah, long story short, we were both blonde as kids. We Obviously, were. you guys know I, I had was curly blonde, blonde hair. My hair's been officially brown. Uh, my officially, my hair has been brown for over a year. I dyed it on February eighteenth. The time of filming this, it is February twentieth. Nice. I've been brown. I have been a brown-haired girl for over a year. I haven't got my hair cut this year. I got it cut on December. We'll call it the fourteenth. It was the week of my graduation. I haven't got it cut in over two months. Now that we are a year removed from me dyeing my hair, and I know that you do like my brown hair a lot, so you can. This is just I'm a trap. You, no, okay. no, it is not a trap. Genuinely, genuinely, I'm giving you full permission to speak freely. I'm not At, going to. Yes, please. I'm, I'm asking you okay. to genuinely because I know you like my brown hair more now. You just admitted it to me before we started the podcast. At the time of me dyeing my hair brown, what were your genuine thoughts? Genuine thoughts. Because I look back at the picture of my hair the day I dyed it brown, and I don't like the fact that it was straight, but when I curled it, I liked it more. What were your genuine, genuine thoughts when I first dyed my hair brown? Please speak freely. I'm begging. I'm genuinely asking. I just thought it was different. That's not bad. I, it was not what I was used to. You looked like a different person. I do think I look like a different person. I got used to it, but like I'm yeah. not saying I don't like it. It. it no, sometimes I, mean, I, for, I remember when I first dyed it, I like forgot that it was This brown. is going to sound cheesy. I hate to, oh God, I hate being sappy and cheesy, but it's like, <gasps> I fell in love with the blonde haired version. You sound like my grandmother. <laughs> That is what my grandma's. Every time I see my grandma, without fail, it doesn't matter because you're the same person. But I know, I know know, what you mean. Every time I see my grandmother, without fail, she mentions something about my hair and how it's brown and how she likes it better blonde. (laughs) She'll look at me and she'll be like, "Is your hair going to be brown forever? You don't want to go back to the blonde?" And I'm like, "Grandma, this would be my hair color if I never touched it up." And she's like, "Oh, sweetheart, I know. It's just." all my memories of you as a sweet little girl running around my house or when you had yeah, blonde hair. And I'm like, like those cares? memories aren't gone. Yeah. The memories are still there. Yeah. I'm like, this is literally what my, I don't know if you guys know this, you know this, but when I went to the hairdresser, the lady that I used to dye my hair, rest in peace, she retired. She didn't die, but she retired. <laughs> Cause I said rest in peace, but I don't mean it like that. Um, her, first of all, her retiring has sent me into a, a, f- fucking frenzy six month panic attack of not knowing what to do with my hair i haven't had it cut in so long um but she's great and i love her and she used to do my highlights like she's done my hair my entire life um and when i went to her i was like i want to have my hair brown and she was like oh and i was like could you match my roots because my highlights had grown out from like my roots to like right about my ear at that point so there was plenty of roots to match and she matched my roots perfectly like she didn't there was no dye put on this part of my hair so everything else was matched to my roots right so i tried explaining to like my mom and my grandma because when my mom saw me the day i dyed my hair she was like it's really dark i was like it's it it is what my hair would look like if i never if you jennifer never made me get highlights in the first place this is just what i would look like and i think it fits me i really do yeah i think i think a lot about my hair more often than most things there's a youtube video of me um it's on private no one can see it but me but it's of me in i want to say 2012 i did 20 questions i had people and i let people on my instagram ask me questions so there were people that knew me in school and i answered them as the little 12 year old i was and one of the questions was what's my favorite feature about myself and my answer was my hair and God. I went on a whole uh, spiel about how I crimp my hair and what I do for my hair. And every time I watch that video back, obviously I cringe a lot when I watch it. But every time I get to that question, I'm like, so true of her. About her, the hair. Hair, her hair is good and she yeah. should love her hair. But on topic of when I first dyed it and getting used to it, like I would forget that it was brown and I would just be sitting and like I would see it out of the corner of my eye, like down here. And I'd like jump a little bit because I'd be like, ah, it's brown. <laughs> But I'm used to it now. You know whose hair has also changed colors? Who? Wanda Maximoff over the course of the MCU. 
That is so What else is Wanda Maximoff in? That is such a funny transition. <laughs> the multiverse of madness, baby. Honestly, <laughs> genuinely, in the comments, let me know. What do you guys like? Who do you who do you like better? Brown hair Wanda or red hair Wanda? What do you think? You're not going to like my answer. <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> WandaVision Wanda. She's, a, she's attractive. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know you <laughs> don't like to hear that, but it's true. I'm crying. I think a lot of people would agree with me. <laughs> Are you literally shedding tears right now? God almighty. What version of Nat do you like the best? Um, Winter Soldier. Okay. What version of Nat do you like best? Yeah. Actually, her... Probably that one, yeah. Her endgame hair was nice. I, really I like her in Black Widow, the movie. Yeah, she looks really good in Black Widow. Yeah. Um, anyway, though. <laughs> I would say, I, I would say Wanda, Wanda... If we're, if you're going to pick a red hair Wanda moment, I say her in Infinity War over her in WandaVision. Oh, okay. But maybe that's just because she's like normal and like actually being Wanda, maybe. Perhaps, yeah. But the trailer dropped during the Super Bowl. That's true. <laughs> and we, I wanted to talk about that. We don't have to talk we about it. We can talk about it. I was yeah. going to title the episode that, actually. No, yeah. Sorry. I went on a spiel about my hair. We can no. move on here. Okay. Um, <laughs> so the trailer came out. The trailer did come out, and uh, it shattered... A lot of people's minds. The poster alone is something we could digest a lot. And that talk is about. so true. But um, the funniest thing to me, the damnedest thing, is that uh, <laughs> Charles Xavier is back. It's literally so obvious. It's his voice, and we see half his face. Oh yeah, I knew it immediately. And honestly, <laughs> I I would recognize his voice anywhere. But the thing is, um, what's it called? Patrick Stewart, the actor who plays him in the original X Men movies. Uh, was like interviewed for Picard, his Star Trek show, and he was like, it "Did pretty good. It did very well. It's one of my high speed videos views. ever. It's one of my high speed videos ever. Very cool. I'll give it a like. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'll throw a like your way. Um, yeah, I think that he denied it. He was like, "Oh, I'm not in that. It's for y'all to find out." And I get it. Like, I get the Andrew thing, and I get the um, the freaking um, the Gabagoo. No, I'm kidding. I get the uh, the damn. Ryan Reynolds and all these people saying they're not in it, but like when your voice and you are in the trailer, you're in it, and I don't know why he's supposed. Oh, to Oh, is be he hiding. saying he's not in it? He's like, oh, we'll have to find out. He's not like confirming it, but it's well, it's blatantly be. him though, Cam. I think they might be under contract. I, I guess, but why, why, why in that case? It's so obviously him. That'd be like if Andrew, if you heard Andrew's voice in the trailer and saw like a half you know of why? the back of his face, and he was like, oh, I'm not in the movie. Why? I don't know why? why? For this exact reason. It's annoying though to get people to talk about it. <laughs> I know, but if damn. he just admitted he was in it, people would be like, "Oh shit, cool, he's in it," Ugh. and that was it. That would be it. Then they would right. find, you are correct. They would find out the things. You are the correct. Mm -hmm. You are, but it's annoying. I know. If things tend to be annoying when I'm correct. You know what else is annoying? Tell me. Um, the fact that so many people want to see Tom Cruise in this movie as Superior Iron Man, and like, where did this come from? Where and did Maria Rambo come from? Is there a version of her in the comics where she gets Captain Marvel's powers, or is that something people are literally just pulling out of their ass because they think through a 480p picture that they think that they see a black woman, and so for some reason they are jumping over Monica and going straight to Maria for some reason? I don't get it. I ge it genuinely, like, I, whew, I could write a paper on how much just the Maria part frustrates me. We can talk about Superior Iron Man in a second. I don't get it. I don't get how people are jumping. Is it because they only see short hair? Because, like, Monica could cut her hair. Carol cuts her hair. Also, it could be variants from other universes. So, yes, Monica could have short hair in another universe. It could be a black Carol Danvers. Like, that's possible, too. It like, could just be some... Anything uh, makes more sense before Maria having Ma Carol's powers. It hurts. Like, people are really just, like, for... Like, it would make... Here's the thing. Even if... Whom, whomever it may be, Marvel's not gonna spend money on bringing in characters or actors or whatever if there's not a real solid purpose to them coming in Tom Cruise as Superior Iron Man has way more purpose than bringing back the actress that plays Maria Rambo to face off Wanda Maximoff. If you're gonna bring, if you're gonna pay money to bring in a character for however long you're bringing the character, and you're gonna spend your money on someone like Monica because she has purpose to fight the character of Wanda because they already have history with WandaVision, and you gotta bring Monica into the movie somehow. 
as well. Maria's dead. No offense. She died. She out of here. There's no plausible reason or explanation for her to be fighting Wanda in Multiverse of Madness. I think it's pointless for her to be there, but again, it could be her. We really don't know shit because if it it's is, a second from pissed. her trailer. I just am baffled by, and like I've obviously added to the speculation because that's what we do, but I didn't like come up with anything really original. We all kind of saw these big I theories going around yeah. and then, sorry, I felt rushed to get it out because no, I thought sorry. you were sorry. doing the thing. Sorry. It's good. Um, but now I see I lost my train of thought for a second. Give me a sec. I don't understand where Tom Cruise came from either. I get that he was in the running to be iron man at one point but like that'd be like making up a theory like oh yeah john krasinski is coming back as captain america because john krasinski was also in the running for captain america like i don't get it i don't know i think there was like leaks not confirmed but one of them said that we were gonna see professor x in this movie and then another was talking about how tom cruise could be in it and this was a while ago so now people are like oh everything's true but i don't really know where it came from either and i don't want i openly do not want tom cruise in the movie i'm rooting against him showing up at this point Jedi because is the same way. She sent me a whole bunch of videos the other day talking about it. She commented on my TikTok and it was like a bunch of people are attacking her. That's <laughs> like, what she was talking about. She's yeah. like a bunch of 12 year old boys are attacking yeah. me. They're offended. But like it's funny because like these kids and everyone is like, oh, Tom Cruise is in the movie. And then the one thing that gets me, this will end up on the TikTok, by the way, this part I'm about to say. So many people say with their full chest, Robert Downey Jr. coming back in Multiverse of Madness would ruin his ending in Endgame. I say to that. Hell no, it would not, because it would still be a variant of him, Cam. Just because we see Robert Downey Jr., the actor, doesn't take away from the fact that Tony Stark that we know and love snapped and saved humanity. That is that character, and seeing RDJ play some different version of Iron Man takes away nothing. It's ne- it doesn't do anything to damage his legacy, I in agree. my opinion. That's like saying- and so many people are like saying like with their full chest in my comments on that. They're like, oh no, bro, RDJ too soon. Like I get the too soon thing, right? Kind of let him have his space for the I MCU. I don't even get the too soon But thing. like we saw multiple versions of Loki. Granted, <laughs> some weren't played by Hiddleston, but like some I- were. So it would make sense for RDJ. And I'd rather oh. see RDJ because they could fake us out and then I'll let you go. Because they could fake us out with like they have RDJ walk through and everyone's like, oh my God. And then he's a variant. Go ahead. I, that's like saying that the Black Widow movie coming out after Endgame diminished in Natasha's death. Yeah, it's like, what? It didn't. What? Yeah. <laughs> I think people just want to see Tom Cruise, and I don't know why. Like, Tom Cruise is cool. I like him in Mission Impossible. He's a great actor, but I don't know where it came from so, like, vehemently. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking the word up to see if I use it I right. I agree. <laughs> um, I also... I don't know. It's just like, I feel like this movie, maybe it's just a thing with Wanda. Like people just really like it's I it's because of Wanda and it's because of her thing in the comics where she goes no more mutants. And now with Professor X being in it, like the theories just go off the rails when it when it comes to Wanda. I feel like like even if it's not strictly about Wanda, if it's just a project that Wanda is involved in. Like people, I I will bet you money before the movie comes out there will be a Mephisto theory. Next time we get a trailer, if anything in it alludes to Mephisto, there will be Mephisto theories. All I know is um, the amount of people who are so confident in it being someone, you know, whether it being Maria, whether it being Tom Cruise, whether it be whoever the hell, it's crazy because we really don't know. No, I was in, I think, Leia's Twitch stream the other day, and her chat tends to, like, talk amongst themselves while she streams. And I was talking to my friend Ryan, and he was like, I think it's Maria 100%. And I was like, why? He was like, because we have, we have like, um, like high-res HD pictures of it. And I was like, send them to me. And he sent me pictures that had been run through Rem and I, like, from Twitter, run yeah, through Rem and I. I saw and I'm that. Like, I'm like, that's not... H, that's not HD, that's 480p, and then an app takes it and makes it into whatever the app can make out of it. Yeah. Like, anything that's run through Remini, you cannot put your faith and trust in because that app, although it does make things clear, like, if the picture itself is not already clear enough, like, it's gonna, it sometimes even makes your, like, like clear pictures It distorts wonky. features. Like, yeah, I've used it make, before for, like, a thumbnail picture. It'll make it look like your eyes are going opposite ways. Like, it just, yeah. it's weird. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. The app is not reliable, and I'm like, you can't tell me that that looks like maria rambo when the app just made it look like whatever face it could make out yeah. in this horrible quality picture 
Ugh. There was also a fake edit going around that Mr. Fantastic was in the trailer. Someone edited in a blurred out four of his uniform oh, yeah, in the corner. That. that was fake. There's a lot of like just tomfoolery going around about this movie, and it's bothering me because I think we live in an era where I, I honestly think it's the TikTok era because you and I were have been huge Marvel fans for a while. I remember before um, Endgame came out, every single day for an entire year, I talked about it with somebody where that was at school or with you theorizing, and I never got leaked for anything. There weren't really any leaks at all. Uh, I think there was a toy leak for, like, an Iron Gauntlet, but I didn't even know about that till after the movie. Do you think... But being, I think TikTok skyrocketed the theorizing. WandaVision era really ruined a lot of things. Do you think being friends with Snoops is a hindrance to our viewing experience? <laughs> for No Way Home, yeah, because... <laughs> well, Full disclosure, honest to God... We love, we love Matt. We really do. Well, maybe a little bit, because he does, you know, hype things up, and he may or may not have <laughs> information yeah he's got early inside, he's got inside people <laughs> that is like we don't know if it's true or not but it's like tends to be true and it's like frustrating when it is because it can kind of ruin moments but it you know it is what it is i'm gonna let that be but i think that the tiktok that really i don't know what it was but it was no way home because i don't remember where the no way home rumors came from i think it was when jamie fox posted the instagram picture i'm pretty sure soups created the rumors like straight up <laughs> oh, honestly i think he did but that kind of thing where it was a year and a half long process of us theorizing about them being in it and then them being in it makes me feel like all of our theories are just true from now on i don't know if that's a bad mindset to have but like I don't we're all sitting way. here and now it's like okay we saw this trailer and we saw professor x so now i'm like okay deadpool's in it because he's on the poster and ryan reynolds is staying weird everyone's in it so. automatically i don't think that that's true because i mean already we already have two running theories for who that glowy person is and one of them has, is bound to be wrong at least you're right about that actually there you go yeah and but I, think, I mean, like, I think both of them wrong are personally. Like Deadpool's in the movie. Like, would you agree? Yeah, I think that's him on the poster. You see it too, right? He, a, he's on the poster. B, this is the perfect movie to bring him in. And C, we already know he's going to be a part of the MCU. You're right. Like, it's fully confirmed. I I'm think, not shocked. At I all. think my toxic trait is like. <laughs> you think everything is a spoiler? Well, no. My toxic trait now is like seeing rumors or leaks, and like because the No Way Home ones were true about mm -hmm. Mur Mur Murdoch and the Spider Man. Like, because that was true, now it's like, anytime I see them, I'm like, okay, that's true. Like, if it's some video of HZ Joe, like, sitting there with text, and then it's, like, a thing. Or if it's a Soup's video, like, this could happen. Um, I get, like, in my head, I'm like, well, damn it, it's ruined for me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't take, I don't take, um, like, spoilers and rumors and stuff like that too seriously. Like, I told Soup's he needs to start screening his spoilers by me first and i'll determine whether or not you should know about them yeah that's fair because i don't necessarily care about getting spoiled for things there's some things i probably would care about getting spoiled for like if if a winter soldier movie came out or something or captain america 4 i'd be like Shh. if someone spoils obi-wan they're they're dead to me so. yeah i think he needs to screen everything by me for obi-wan like, i don't want to know anything. a damn thing about it or not even his hype for it or anything because like for for me if soups told me if he told us, if he told us right now that Qui Gon is in the show, how would you feel like that's a big, big spoiler? Um, I just wouldn't want to know because, like, it's I want there to be that uncertainty going in. I don't want to know for a fact, and it pisses me off. Not you, but like I am getting heated. My tone of voice changed because, like, why would I want to know? That takes away any like excitement or mystery. I wouldn't necessarily. I just know like, either. oh, there's Qui Gon. Oh, cool. I already knew that. I wouldn't really want to know either because I care a lot about Qui Gon. Yeah, that'd be most a huge likely, spoiler. By most the way, likely, huge spoiler. Most likely, any other character I wouldn't necessarily care about. If he was like, if he was like Jar Jar's in it, I'd be like, okay. I don't care about that, but like, I don't want to know. No, I agree. I don't want someone to come up to me before. Basically, let me equate this. Let me do a little analogy for you. If someone walked up to you before a big test you'd been studying hard for and was like, they took it to class before, they're like, oh my God, so damn easy. So easy. You don't even have to worry about it. And then it ends up being like hard. Uh -huh. Like they like they said that to you. It trips you out, right? Yeah. You wouldn't want that to happen. So that's what I'm thinking. Like, I don't want someone coming to me and be like, oh, this happens here. And then it's like, okay, it takes away from the moment. You know what I mean? Yeah, I agree. It's frustrating. And um, I guess it's just part of the fandom, especially since we're so deep in it now, especially with like theorizing on TikTok. I know I do a lot because I like to make the videos and talk to people about it. But at the same time, it's like, There's, it's, it's harmful too. It's also another thing about theorizing. None of it's creative anymore. One person, honestly, all creative and original theories come from Twitter. A million percent because mm -hmm. then 
people on TikTok, they see the tweets and they take it and they bring it to TikTok. Which and then the I, TikTok is what blows it up. And then they get credit for their theory. No one's original. And I, I like to think when I make my YouTube for breakdown videos, I, I like preface it. And I'm like, I didn't think of this. Like, this is just speculation. I'm kind of sharing the news with you. But I don't think anyone's thought of any theory, really. I, I mean, like, unless when you f see something, you immediately say it. But, like, if you go on Twitter, all the theories are speculating around, and then everyone just kind of latches onto them. And, like, we all we all do it. Every single one of us listening and watching. Mm -hmm. I know for, for me, there's one video on my YouTube channel that I made after the first two episodes of WandaVision where I kind of, like, dissected the first two episodes and, like, you know, put things... In and things and things together and i did that the morning after the wandavision episodes dropped and like there were things that i caught in the background there were things that i picked up on there was research that i found about characters and i was making my own theories but then like after i made the video i went on tiktok or twitter or whatever and like those things were caught by other people too and it's just like my pet peeve is when people specifically i won't name any theorists like specifically but theorists like the popular theorists on tiktok they'll do this thing where they make a theory that's not their original theory they definitely got it from somewhere else it not only is it not original but it's also like not it's not uncommon either like everyone is theorizing this exact theory and they go and after it comes true they stitch their video and they're like guys i called it i totally called it and like i have a i have a draft in my tiktok drafts right now of me stitching you know that one tiktok i made of the being like what is that with the the spider-man webs yep. and that whole joke that came to fruition in the movie like i want to i want to stitch it and be like well that was pretty damn accurate but that's also not a theory it was just a funny joke that like came true but i hate when people are like guys look my theory my theory was right i was right look at me i'm so good and it's like you got that theory off of twitter you didn't come up with this I know you didn't. You're annoying. Shut up. That's just how I feel. It's not a bad take, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Multiverse of Madness is going to be good. I'm worried, though, like, the thing for me is, like, every time a new Marvel movie comes out, it's just, like, it doesn't have to be the best Marvel movie. No Way Home is an exception because I think the movie is exceptional. Mm -hmm. I think it's the best Spider-Man movie. I think it is probably the best Marvel movie. I mean, right now I'm like, oh my gosh, Infinity War Endgame and No Way Home are like all up there. But I saw No Way Home more than any other movie in theaters. Mm -hmm. It drew all the emotions out of me. It had all the nostalgia, all that stuff. But like, I understand Multiverse of Madness is going to have big cameos too. But I just know, and I said this in a TikTok a while ago to kind of stitch myself. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I said people are going to turn on the way home and it's only now. And I said end of the year, give it till May 6th when people have seen Multiverse. They'll go, all the people, I don't want to name names, be like, yo, Multiverse of Madness is peak fiction. And then, you can it's, say Colin's <laughs> name. It's okay. Multiverse of Madness wipes. Multiverse of Madness solos no way home, bro. Colin actually <laughs> won't say that because Colin's No, I know. I'm not. I wasn't adding him. I no, was I saying know. like the, this whole group, they'll be like, yeah, I know exactly what you're Multiverse about. of Madness, bro. No way home's ass. What? No way home sucks. Multiverse of Madness has this. Like, I know. When Wolverine, if Wolverine's in there, like something, when Wolverine showed up is way better than when Toby and Andrew showed up. And it's like, yeah. I think recency bias is a really big thing, and usually I don't hop That's on so the trend true. of things, but No Way Home, like I said, exception. Yeah, valid. I do not have recency bias with um, Disney Plus shows because I have stayed true to my baby, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Sorry. Um, oh, speaking of movies, next time you guys see us in the next podcast episode, we will have already seen The Batman. Fun fact. Seeing facts. It on, seeing it on the 24th. I recently got a free shirt and a free hat from my good friend Emily. Um, I should text her and ask her when the PR box is going to get here. Uh, Yeah, we're seeing the Batman. Actually, it's Sunday, February 20th. You know, we're seeing it. Are we allowed to say when we're seeing it? Yeah, we're seeing it on 24th. Yeah. I Was there some weird like piece of information where we weren't allowed to say when we were seeing the movie or something? No, we're not allowed to like, I don't think we're allowed to like talk about the movie, but we're allowed to be like, yeah, we're seeing the movie. Ah, okay. I just can't be like, yeah, that oh, woman yeah, yeah. dies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, totally. So, yeah, we're seeing it. I'm excited. Uh, We've been doing our Batman research. Chris has been watching every piece of Batman. Um, me every, live action, every live action Batman movie. I, I've seen most of them. I'm just rewatching them all. I'm, uh, I'm moving on to the Dark Knight trilogy soon. Nice. I have been watching the prequels to the Batman, also known as the Twilight Saga, and I just finished the third installment today. Even though I watch these movies like at least once a month. 
<laughs> yeah, you do. But there's nothing wrong with that. Twilight movies are overhated. I agree. They're fun. You have taste. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think the Batman is going to be... Robert Pattinson is hot. I really think it's going to be the best Batman movie. Yeah, I agree. And I know that Dark Knight purists are going to get upset. I think the Dark Knight's fantastic. I really do. But this is going to be special because I think it's going to have those classic villains and it's going to have a not camp to it, but it's going to like, it's going to pay respects to like the classic Batman feel, but it's going to be like the most detective y Batman we've seen. The score alone is already fantastic. And just the hype going into this movie, it's got to be great. It's got to deliver. And um, there's really high expectations. It's my most anticipated movie of the year. And it feels surreal that I'm seeing it in only a few days. Really, Four honestly. Days. Four yeah. days. I got to get through the Dark Knight trilogy because those movies rock. But yes. I got to get through uh, Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 1 and 2. Which Good probably, God. Which I could probably yeah. do tonight. Obviously. You really do. You probably could. We got a Batman trailer dropping soon, by the way. The final trailer. It's supposed to drop during NBA All-Star Game. It's 8.03. The NBA All-Star Game kicks or tips off at 8. Somewhere like 8.10. So I'm sometime in the next hour or so. There will be a trailer reaction up on my channel. I'm like, origin normally I would not watch the final trailer for a movie like this, but YouTube calls. <laughs> Duty calls. Chris has to have a YouTube video today. And I do. he didn't get to go to... You look like a psychopath in that picture. Do you want to watch the live photo of it? Why did you do that? Like, was <laughs> that on purpose? Because we were making fun oh, okay. of the fact that I had Looks like literally fingers. blood. That's why I did it like that. Yeah, insane. Um, But... Yeah, Multiverse of Madness is going to be sick. We're excited, obviously, May 6th that comes out. Um, May is going to be a huge month. A lot of exciting stuff around the corner. It's going to be May. But I think this is an abbreviated episode. That would be a great ending. Just that <laughs> cut off right there. <laughs> yes, this is a short episode. Let us know in the comments of the video version what kind of uh, episodes you would like to see. Like, yes. What... what like hot take ones on popular opinions for fandoms yes. and moving forward we're going to do more fandom ones but we want to connect them to like bigger releases so like game of thrones for house of the dragon stranger, stranger things. things will be a fun one for sure yeah give us one stranger things hot take right now off the top of your head um i have one you go first season two is not as bad as everyone remembers it to be just because it's the worst season doesn't mean it's bad just skip episode seven yeah that's fair um actually really 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 good season i'll say Mike could die and I would not be upset. Mike's, Mike. Mike's lame. Yeah, Mike is lame, but Noah Schnapp just runs Stranger Things. Like, he does. Like, the, the actor, he's the most internet famous one because he posts on TikTok and stuff. Well, he could also die and I wouldn't care, so. <laughs> Noah Schnapp? Will or Byers. Will. <laughs> not Noah. Jesus Christ. And the way you said yeah, it. Yeah, I'm so wishing death on an actor. Because you podcast. said because you said also, I was like, what do you what? Noah not Noah. Will is his name? Will yes. Byers. Will Byers. And Mike. I hope his brother could, dies. Could die. And like I wouldn't care. Someone has to die though. We'll talk about Stranger Things more, but people have Jonathan. to die. Eleven and Jonathan. Eleven's gotta go, I think. Eleven and Jonathan. Yeah. Hopper, maybe? I don't know. It's it's gonna be fun. We didn't talk about Stranger Things much because they did drop a little poster action and I'm excited yeah. for it, but We'll talk about Stranger Things more down the road. Yeah, we got we have a minute, mile, much time, much time, a lot much of time. time. Not a lot of time though, because Batman Trail is going to drop any second now. Subscribe if you're watching the video version. Peace notification out. bell. Follow us on all our, our links down below. Stay unusual. Love you guys. Should we do hearts every episode? We should. You need to get better at it. Straighten your bottom finger. There we go. That's actually pretty decent right there. What would you rate that? A solid eight. Six point nine for me. Very funny. Mm -hmm.